Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will learn about parallel projection. So in previous video, we have discussed about perspective projection and types of perspective projection, right? So in this video, we will learn about various types of parallel projection. So oblique parallel projection and uh, orthographic parallel projection and it's a type. Right. So these are the types of oblique parallel projection and these are the types of orthographic parallel projection. So let's start. So first of all, what is parallel projection? Let's say one object is there and I have to draw the project, uh, projection of this object on some projection plane. Let's say this is my projection plane. An observer is observing this object from infinite distance. Right. So the projector lines are parallel to each other, isn't it? So let's say these are my projector line, which are parallel to each other, right? So that's why it is called a parallel projection because here the projection line or projector lines are remains parallel to each other. So when we see from this, when the observer will observe this object from this direction, he can see this face A, B, C, D. So this is the projection of this rectangular block when we see from the front, right? Here the projector is making an angle of 90 degree with the projection plane. So this type of projection is called orthographics projection, right? I hope you got the concept. When projector line is making an angle of 90 degree with the projection plane, then the projection is called orthographic projection, right? So when observer looks towards an object from infinity, let's say this is our object from the infinity, the lines of sight or projector will be parallel to each other and perpendicular to the plane of a projection. The resulting projection is known as the orthographic projection. Now let's say, the observer is observing this object from this direction. So the projector line is not making an angle 90 degree with the projection plane. It is inclined to the projection plane. So this kind of a projection is known as oblique parallel projection. Right. So if observer is observing from this direction, he can see these two faces A, B, C, D and this bottom face is B, C, G, F. So these two faces are visible if observer is observing from this direction. So I hope you got the clear difference between these two. So when projector line is inclined to the projection plane, then it is oblique projection. When the projection line is perpendicular to the projection plane, then it is orthographic projection. So oblique projection, observer looks towards the object from infinity and the lines of sight will be parallel to each other and inclined to the plane of projection. So resulting projection is known as oblique projection. So oblique projection will give us a pictorial view of the object. So it will give us more information about the object, its features, shape and size. While orthographic projection, it is difficult to visualize the shape and size of the object. One more difference is that orthographic projection required minimum two views for complete information of the object while the oblique projection will give us the complete information about the same object in a single view, right? But the shape and size may be distorted. So this is one of the main difference between oblique projection and orthographic projection. Let's see, let's understand what is oblique projection. So in oblique projection, the faces of the object which are perpendicular to the plane of projection are projected in the distorted shape. So whatever the faces which are perpendicular to the projection plane are in a distorted shape. The perpendicular edges of the such a plane are drawn at an angle of 30 degree or 45 degree or 60 degree. 
so this a this edges or this line we are talking about this line so this line are drawn at an angle of 30 degree 45 degree or 60 degree with horizontal this inclined line are known as a residing line and their inclination to the horizontal is known as residing angle so this inclination is known as residing angle inclination of this line with horizontal the appearance of the distortion of an object can be improved by shortening the length of the residing line so if we shorten the length of the residing line uh, we can reduce or reduce the distortion in this shape right the residing lines may be inclined either upward or downward or to the left or right depending upon the necessity to show the details of an object effectively so this residing line may be inclined towards uh, inclined either upwards this these are the upward direction right or to the left or right so these are the left direction and these are the downward direction depending upon the necessity to show the details of the object so these are the residing line so various types of oblique projection cavalier projection so when the residing line we are talking about this line this line is known as residing line are drawn to the full size scale and the projectors inclined at an angle of 30 degree 45 degree or 60 degree to the plane of projection such a oblique projection is known as cavalier projection so this angle is 45 degree with horizontal and this residing line is drawn to the full size scale then such a projection is known as cavalier projection next is a cabinet projection so if the residing lines are drawn to the half size scale such a oblique projection is known as cabinet projection so here this residing line is drawn to the half size scale then such a projection is known as cabinet projection now next is a orthographic projection so there are again various types of orthographic projection so axonometric projection that is a single plane projection and multi view projection that is using multiple plane views right so in axonometric three types of projection isometric diametric and trimetric in multi view projection two types of projection first angle and third angle so these are the uh, single plane axonometric projection isometric diametric and trimetric so in isometric the angle between all these uh, axes let's say this is x y and z are equal and that angle is 120 degree right while in case of diametric projection angle between this x and y is greater than 120 degree and the other remaining two angles are less than 120 degree and in trimetric all the three angles are different right so these are the basic difference of isometric diametric and trimetric right so in orthographic projection this is the isometric view let's say this is the direction of observer so when observer is observing from this direction he can see this square face right two square faces so this is the front view he can see this two square faces and uh, uh, for a side view observer have to view from this direction so he can see this uh, square faces and uh, this rectangular cavity will be hidden so we have to represent that using hidden line right here we have used two views this is a front view this is a right hand side view so i hope you understand the various types of uh, parallel projection if you have watched this video up till this then uh, please do like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for the latest notification